Sorry, I'm going to go over how you download the material from your Tinkercad into your Chromebook and hand it in. So, first thing we need to do is go out to Tinkercad, open up your file. Granted, this isn't my house, but we're just going to go through and use this as an example. So, you've got your house. First thing we're going to do is click on the little mining axe that's up here. This will get us to Minecraft. So, we want to unclick the show terrain. So, all we see is just the house. Next thing we are going to do is hit the export button. When you hit the export button, depending upon how your system is set up, it will either download it automatically or it will ask you to save the file as, make sure that you're in download, which is what we are, and we press save. You should see this acknowledging that it's been downloaded. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back here to the grid where we were working on it. So we click on the icon here that has the nine little squares, and we are going to go over here and click on export again. Click export. Now, in order to do the 3D print of this, you will have to click on the dot STL. So, see the download open up? Click on the dot STL. And again, it will open up the save as. Make sure that it's in downloads, which we are. And we can press save. Once we are done with that, we need to go down and find the blue circle with the file on here. You might have it on your desktop right away. If not, click on circle here, go search for it. If you have to go to all apps, that's fine. But find this. Now, it should automatically open up the downloads if that's what you, what's been used last. If not, slide the bar down, click on downloads, and you will have what you're looking for. Downloads. Now, what you should do next is make sure that th 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 close all of this back up again. Make sure that you open up My Drive, go to the classroom, make sure the classroom gets opened up, and you should see a folder for Geometry 9. Now, if for some reason you don't have the classroom folder and your Geometry 9 folder, then just copy this information over to your Google Drive. Otherwise, what I want you to do is select these and drag them into your Geometry 9 folder. Once those have been copied, go back to your classroom. There's the Geometry 9 classroom now. Scale model of your house, I want you to click Open. We need to go and add those files that we downloaded. So over here, we click on Add, Google Drive, and under Recent, you should see those two files that you have. If you don't see those two files under Recent, you can go into your to My Drive and see if you can find it there. For me, I can go into my classroom. And there we go. So next thing I want to do is I want to select both of these files and click Add. Now on your scale model of your house, you will have the .stl file, you will have the static, and we click on Turn It In. And you'll get this, that we actually want to turn those in, and yes you do, so you click on Turn In. And now everything has been submitted. You'll see this down here. Your assignments have been submitted, and it will say done. So if you were to go back out here and look at the assignment, it will say done.